Hey family, it's Angel here. Y'all, I have a message for you guys. I pray you all are doing well today. This message is a heavy one, so put on your seatbelts. I don't have notes, guys. I'm just going to roll with the experience that the Holy Spirit has allowed me to go through recently. Okay. Um, I have chills literally right now. Like as I'm speaking, I'm getting chills. The Holy Spirit is with me. Um, guys, I had a dream and this dream came after a heavy experience that I had. The night before last, I awakened at about two in the morning and, um, it was like an abrupt waking. So he woke me up. I instantly went into prayer. Um, I went into speaking in the holy tongue. Um, for a good 45 minutes, guys, I was just being obedient, consecrating myself with the Lord and in prayer mode. And I knew he had um, me doing it for a reason. So whatever came to my spirit, I prayed about it. And um, guys, suddenly I got this vision. I saw dad's feet walking in my house. When I when I saw his feet in his robe, my head just I didn't I couldn't even control my neck. My head just automatically went down, guys. I just cried. I just cried. I felt his presence and I cried and um I had no control over my mouth. My my tongue just started rolling and it was a very overwhelming experience and um guys, he came to me with a message I feel like he put me to sleep because I don't even remember. Fa- I don't know how I fell asleep. I just remember praying and then being asleep. I don't remember like getting back under the covers. I just fell asleep, guys. It was almost like he put me to sleep. I had a dream. It was a heavy one. So like I said, buckle your seat belts, okay? I went to sleep, guys, and the dream was so real. I just can't even believe it was a dream, to be honest. But um. I was in my house and I was laying in my bed and my nieces were with me. My kids were in their room. Um, and I remember this rumbling happening. Okay. My house started shaking. I looked outside and I saw this cloud of smoke. It looked like an atomic BOMB. I don't want to get any offenses here on this platform, but. When I looked outside, like I said, it looked like a BOMB happened um, and it was smoke everywhere. And across the street, everything was completely demolished. Nothing existed anymore, nothing. And I saw the smoke coming towards me and I knew it was going down, like it was the end and it was coming towards me. Um, And I knew I was next, that the area where I was at was next. So I went, grabbed my kids out of their bed, brought them in my bed with me and my nieces, and we all said our prayer, and we laid next to each other. We held each other, and um, I didn't tell them why, but they knew something was up with the rumbling. I didn't tell them what I saw outside, but I knew that it was the end for us. So... um, I held them all and I braced myself, closed my eyes, and nothing happened. And I'm steady waiting, nothing happened. About an hour goes by, nothing happened. Two hours in a dream, it was like I was looking at my clock and nothing happened. So I noticed I saw a little bit of sunshine. The sun came up and I was brave enough to step step out the door. Everything was gone, guys, except for a few houses on my block, like my house, the house next to me, and the house on the opposite side of me were the only ones standing. Everything was completely gone, guys, completely gone. And I stepped out and um, I said, Lord, I, I thanked him for saving me. I said, thank you, Lord. But where do I go now and how do I get there? Everything is destroyed. And it was only a select few of people he instructed. He instructed. It was literally a line of like maybe 10 people that were left. And he instructed us to go to 
the particular land he asked me to go to um, before all that stuff happened. In real life, the Lord asked me to go to a certain area. That specific area is where he told us to go to and he gave us instructions and told us he pretty much is tearing up everything and he's rebuilding in the dream he told us go back to this land because at this land is where i am going to be rebuilding i'm going to be more specific guys in the dream that particular place was texas okay in the dream that particular place was texas not the place that was demolished okay the place where he was telling us where he was instructing us to go was texas so i woke up and i prayed i said lord i need you to give me clarity is this literally what i needed to know if this is like really in relation to my circumstance right now as far as like him telling me you know to relocate or what have you or um is this me needing to move to prevent something from happening i'm just like what is this lord what is this so i'm in prayer and he sent me to scripture guys he sent me to scripture and he also sent me to scripture that confirmed that he wanted me to share this message with you guys okay um so he sent me to revelation 3. he sent me to revelation 3 and he told me verse 7 and 8 and it reads write this letter to the angel of the church in philadelphia this is the message from the one who is holy and true the one who has the key of david what he opens no one can close and what he closes no one can open i know all the things you do and i have opened a door for you that no one can close you have little strength Yet you obeyed my word and did not deny me. Look, I will force those who belong to Satan's synagogue, those liars who say they are Jews but are not, to come and bow down at your feet. They will acknowledge that you are the ones I love. He urged my spirit to continue. Because you have obeyed my command to preserve I will protect you from the great times of testing that will come upon the whole world to test those who belong to this world. I am coming soon. Hold on to what you have so no one will take away your crown. All who are victorious will become pillars in the temple of my God and they will never have to leave it. And I will write on them the name of God. And they will be the citizens in the city of my God. The new Jerusalem that comes down from heaven from my God. And I will also write on them my new name. Anyone who has ears to hear must listen to the spirit and understand what he is saying to the church. This is further confirmation that what a lot of these prophets and apostles and um, the body of Christ in general has been speaking on that we are in a time of testing and the Lord is separating the wheat from the tear right now okay um, he's exposing putting people in their proper places all right and he is confirming that he is coming soon okay and um, it says we are in a great time of testing right now we are in a time of testing and that is to see who belongs to the world he is separating the wheat from the tear this is confirmation okay of what we've been saying this whole entire time he has just confirmed that is what he is doing all right and this is for those who have been faithful 
This is conf confirmation for those who have been faithful. He sees, okay? And those people are going to be chosen to become pillars in his temple. All right? And he will write on them his name, which is his seal. And they will become citizens in the city of my God. The new Jerusalem that comes down from heaven. Guys, what he is doing in this hour is gathering his chosen ones up. All right. You know how we were scattered all around the world? Yeah, he's bringing us together in this hour. Okay. For example, you think him asking a lot of his chosen ones to up and move to Texas is a coincidence? No, it is not. It is something so much more deeper than you guys could ever imagine is what the Lord revealed to me. Um, this is a prophetic move. This is why he is asking you guys to move to certain locations. Okay, he's gathering his sheep in this hour. Guys, he's speaking of the last days. Okay, when that, um, when I saw what depicted as a atomic B O M B, that signified destruction, the end, and his rebuilding of Jerusalem is him bringing his people, his chosen ones, back home to the new Jerusalem, the new earth that he is building that is for eternity. Guys, think it not strange, okay, um, what is going on in these end days. More calamity, destruction, um, a lot is coming, okay? Famine, all right, recession, a lot is coming, a lot is coming, and it has to happen this way. We can't prevent what's going to happen. We can't prevent it, but we must know who we belong to. All right, guys, we are in the last hour. He is making people decide who they're going to serve. There are no more a million and one chances to decide on the God that you are going to serve. This, this is the hour of judgment. And um, and he's gathering his people. He's gathering his people right now. What you are seeing is a separation a gathering and a rebuilding and a tearing down this is all in preparation for the final days guys he is rebuilding and he's choosing who his disciples will be that is going to help him rebuild in this hour everybody else will be removed when i say guys in the dream everything was gone everything was demolished but I was preserved and a few other people were and he instructed us to go to the new land and rebuild it. It pretty much signifies what he's doing on earth, tearing down the kingdom of darkness and raising his own up, right? And reconstructing things and how he's preparing for his return. I don't know how much more detail you need in that, guys. It's plain and simple. The Lord is coming. He is coming. I can't tell you when. I know it's soon. I cannot tell you when, but he is reminding us to be in position so we don't lose our crown and our placement in the new Jerusalem. That he is using us to rebuild. Everything else must go. Guys, you see things are getting heated, right? Um... Things are going crazy in this world right now. I mean, we are literally getting ready to walk into um, recession, famine. A lot of things are getting ready to come on this earth. This, this has to happen. There's no sense in trying to stop prophecy. This, this has to happen. Um, the Lord literally is saying these things have to happen. This testing that will come on this world has to happen, okay? So he can test those who belong to the world and who belong to him. It's going to test them. When things get tough, when things get crazy, we're going to really see, you know, who is a part of the body and who's not. I mean, right now we're seeing it. It's like black and white, right? He's really making it obvious. People are being exposed. 
It's nothing's hidden anymore. And this is all a part of the plan. Exposure. We are in the times of exposure. This is all God's doing. This is revelation before our eyes. And I know that was the Father coming to give me this message to send to you guys. I asked the Lord for permission to, you know, share this dream. And of course, he did confirm to go ahead and do so. And he flipped me right to Ezekiel 3. The voice said to me, son of man, eat what I am giving you. Eat this scroll, then go and give its message to the people of Israel. So I opened my mouth and he fed me with the scroll. Fill your stomach with this, he said. And when I ate it, it tasted as sweet as honey in my mouth. Then he said, son of man, go to the people of Israel and give this message. So when the Lord sent me there after I read Revelation and you know he further gave me more revelation on my experience in a dream this is where he sent me as confirmation to give to you guys he also sent me to a watchman for israel which was confirming my position in the kingdom um and he also sent me to a sign of the coming judgment which is ezekiel 5 guys and um do not be alarmed. This is a part of the plan, okay? As long as you stay in position, you have nothing to worry about, all right? This is for everybody else, and it must happen because we are in a testing right now. He is literally <laughs> separating the kingdom of darkness from his kingdom, and this is the process that must happen. This is a process that must happen, all right, guys? Anyway, you know who you belong to. That should give you all the peace in the world and make you feel oh so joyful. No matter what's going on in the world, we know who we belong to. All right, guys. So I pray this message bless you all. I pray you all have a blessed day. I love you all. God loves you so much more. Until next time.